Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dice Crafty Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing with you two hauls. This first one is from Simon Says Stamp, CC Designs, and Hobby Lobby. All right, so let's get started. The second haul that I'll be sharing with you a little bit later on today, or as soon as I can get it filmed and uploaded, is the Lawn Fawn Haul. The Lawn Fawn Haul is um, kind of large, so I'll be doing that one last. So, you ready? Let's get started. All right, so the first place that I went to for shopping last week was CC Designs. I actually went over to CC Designs to pick up a couple of digital images. You know that's one of my favorite places to get my digital images. I had a couple of cards that I was working on, and so I went over and, um, or was going to start working on. Anyway, we'll get to that. And I went over and I got some digital images. I happened to go to their clearance section as well, and I picked up a few of the dies that they had. So this is what I picked up. I picked up the bubble numbers, and I picked up the bubble numbers. Um, well, I'll get to why in a second, but that's what they look like. Very, very inexpensive, guys. They weren't very much money. I don't remember how much they were, but, well, let me see if I can tell you. I don't think they were very much. Let's see, bubble numbers. They were four dollars. All right, four dollars. They're normally eight dollars. It says, but aren't they cute? Super adorable. Super cute for birthday cards. You know, turning five or I don't know, even eighty-nine. You know what I'm saying? It looks nice. So those those are super cute. While I was there, I picked up the. Um, mini alpha numbers mini alpha and numbers so that's what they look like that's what the die looks like they were seven dollars and here is what they look like cut out super cute now i have to tell you when i picked these up i totally picked them up because the letters look like the ice age letters from the movie ice age don't they I just thought they were super, super cute and small. And I love having dies. I've got some of my favorite things ones as well. I love having little um, dies that are super small, very small, so you can fit them into little areas, like a name or something, super cute. So I picked those up and they were $7. This was $4. This is the Creative Basics Half Stitch Circles and they were $4. So you're getting three of these half circle dies. I've already tried it. I picked this up for a specific reason because I bought, um, I wanted to do a card where something was hopping from one side to the other as an interactive card and I didn't have an exact half circle. So I put two circles together, put it halfway on a plate. That worked fine, but I didn't want to have a line as well because um, it leaves a little crease. So when I saw these, I thought, hmm, I wonder if they'll work. They'll work for lots of things, but if you use these two dies together, it makes the perfect, and I do mean perfect, element to put your little critter behind to have it jump from one side to the other. And it's the perfect size for an A2 size card. So for $4, I picked those up, and I was happy they worked exactly how I liked them. But you could also use them as a topper for a tag or, I mean, there's a hundred ways you can use a half circle. So I picked that up. This caught my eye because, you know, I'm all about fall. And this is the packaging for that. It comes in this really cute light pink bag. Isn't that adorable? Um, I picked up this. This was, what is this? This was only $3, guys. It's the CC Designs Make a Card Number 9 Autumn is what it's called, Autumn. There are just some adorable dies in here. First of all, this is a great size stitched rectangle that's scalloped. This says on the front, oh, it doesn't say, but um, I believe it says Thanks and Autumn. I believe that's what that says. It has two different acorn dies. This is a little stitch tab that goes on the top of this little banner. So you get that little banner and the topper. It's so cute. A heart, a couple of leaves, and then a leaf border for $3. Yes, please. So I picked that up. And how cute is it that it's pink? So I haven't cut it out yet, but I'm telling you, it's going to be adorb. Absolutely adorbs. Super, super cute. So that was it for CC Designs, except for the... Um, 
the digital images. So, and I'll share those with you when I get around to making the cards. Now to get back to these number dies, I actually already had these. I picked this up as a gift. So leave a comment below and I will pick a winner um, on today's Sunday, tomorrow, on tomorrow, and we will give this away. So if you're interested, just leave a comment below. Okay, so that was CC Designs. Let me put this away. I cannot wait to put this stuff away, guys. Absolutely cannot wait. Stuff sitting around drives me crazy. But aren't those numbers adorable? They are so cute. I love that they're different from anything else. That's what I liked about it. I don't have the bubble letters. I think the bubble letters are 10. I think they're 10 or 9 or something. I think I'm going to go back and order those as well. I thought that the mini ones would be okay, would be enough. But I think I might go back and order those. All right, so that was CC Designs. From Simon Says Stamp, that was easy. I only picked up three things. They had their anniversary special, 15% um, off, and I really only wanted cardstock, and they did not have the cardstock that I wanted except for one. So I um, picked up the two colors that I wanted, and then this this is their, this is the Copic blending paper. I've never gotten it from Simon before. I normally order it from Amazon. Um, so I picked this up. I'm going to give it a try and see if it's the same as what I've been ordering. Nice to know you have more than one option because, you know, the Copic blending paper does sell out quite often. It's hard to come by. I am still going to be placing an order for paper from My Favorite Things and Simon. You guys know I love to have the... Um, Sampler packages, they have a couple of different ones, both companies. I like to stock up on those every year, and I haven't been able to get them yet this year because they sold out at the holidays. So as soon as they get back in stock, I'll be making that order, and I'll share that with you when I get it as well. Meanwhile, the two colors that I gravitate more to and card bases are these two. So I did pick up a pack of each. So this is the Lawn Fawn Mermaid. And the Simon Says Aubrey Blue, which I love both of them equally. One's lighter, one's darker, but they're definitely my go-to in this color and my favorite color of life. So I did pick those up, and that's all I got from Simon Says Stamp. All right, let me show you the Hobby Lobby. All right, Hobby Lobby was kind of easy as well. I only picked up a few things. I wandered in one day. Um, the first day I actually went back in public, which was just a few days ago, I actually got myself so depressed and anxiety ridden over the shooting a couple of counties away at the school on Valentine's Day that I didn't leave my house, I didn't craft, I didn't do anything. That's why you guys only saw banner entries going up on my channels because I could not, I could not function for days. So after about a week, I did finally go out and when I did, I went to my favorite relaxing place in the world um, well, it's not actually true. I went to two places. I went to the gym and did my hydro massage and all that. And then I went to Hobby Lobby because I could walk around Hobby Lobby all day long. I love my Hobby Lobby. It's so relaxing. It's so beautiful. And I could walk away and never buy a thing and be happy that I spent hours there. I love my Hobby Lobby. I know I've said it before, but I love it. But I did pick up a few things this day. I picked up some of their rubber stamps. This is the Hero Arts, um, hold on, I'll tell you. I thought I knew, or Antique Rose with Stem. And then this is the Hero Arts Antique Rose. I picked up the Hero Arts Mum. These are good size too. I mean, there's my hand, right? Very good size for cards. And then I picked up the Art Impressions Haunted House. I just thought that was a great haunted house for Halloween. I like to do haunted houses. Um, I'm not a big Halloween person, but I do like to do haunted houses. And I thought that was a great size for an A2 size card. So I picked up those. I picked up that stamp set that you guys have been seeing me with Ooh. and I can't find it the um, Stampendous
I did with it, guys. I had it out to put it, I had it, I took it back out. The one that has these little critters in it, remember this one? I've been showing it this week. I've made a few things with it. I picked up that stamp set for $2.25, so wherever that is, if I find it, well, I'll show it to you. Um, it's got the, it's got really cute little stamps in it, guys, that has the bunny, the little, um, okay, I give up. Mm hmm I give up. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, so I've already done a few projects with it, including that, um, treat box I just showed you. So this has the bunny on it. So this is the bunny. It just gives you a head and some clothes and some things like that. Um, I think it's super adorable. So I picked up that stamp set. I think it was $2.50. And then I picked up these two Tim Holtz alphabets in black foam. They were $2.75 each. So I got the uppercase and the lowercase. I really liked the idea of having these for my mixed media projects and stuff like that where um, I don't have to get my, my clear, I do have clear alphabet stamps. I don't like getting them dirty with archival ink. I don't like, I don't like staining them. So I figured this black foam would be great for um, mixed media projects altogether or um, artist trading cards, anything like that where I may want to put a letter or even in my journals where I like to put words sometimes. Um, whether it's in black or not, I, this would be a great way not to stain up my stamps or to be able to even use other medias, um, not just ink, you know, and have the word show through. So it's a great big, thick black foam. And yeah, that was a great price, $2.75 each. So I did pick up both of those. I also like that they were kind of skinny letters, but very large. So that's awesome. And then the only other thing I picked up was this. This is one of the little, um, what is it, clipping stickers. This one is, I don't really know what it's called, but, mm -mm -mm. a savaged assortment of adhesive backed phrases, words and numbers. Okay, and it was 75 cents. And it, I noticed right away it had a few things that I liked on it, so I know I'll use it in different projects, but I like having something like this around, and that was a great price. So that's all I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So that's my first video, Hobby Lobby, Simon Says Stamp and CC Designs. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. My next video will be my Lawn Fawn Haul. Super excited for that one. I have already played with one of the products, so I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.